Hello everybody and welcome to this little YouTube video just to explain about getting set up with some music production kit and software. So about four weeks ago I decided that I wanted to have a go at creating some music at home. I didn't have a keyboard, I didn't have any software at all, but after having looked at several pieces of software on the internet and watching quite a few YouTube videos, I decided to go ahead and get myself set up on a budget. So this video will take you through what I bought, how much it cost, and I'll actually show you my little setup here. And hopefully this will help those of you who aren't quite sure, just the same as I was, exactly what to buy just to get you started. I will also say that with my setup, I already had a PC, it's a reasonable PC. It has 16 gig of RAM, it's got a two terabyte hard drive, and I've got two fairly decent monitors because I did a lot of photography. So I've got a 27 inch monitor and a 24 inch widescreen monitor as well. So I already had this kit. They're, all those pieces of kit are about seven years old, at least. So it does show you that if you've got existing kit already, you don't necessarily need to go out and buy brand new PCs or laptops or MacBooks or whatever it is that you want to run it on. Now, it wouldn't be fair of me to do this video without mentioning some of the companies and people who, unbeknownst to them, have been instrumental in me getting as far as I have already, which, let's face it, in musician terms, is not very far at all. I am a no, no musician whatsoever. However, the following people have really, really helped me get an enthusiasm and a passion for trying to make some music just to get the joy out of making, making music. So, in no particular order, first of all, Guy Mitchellmore. Hi, Guy. Um, love your videos. They have really, really shown me how to just get into it, start playing something on a keyboard, see what comes out, figure it out, try different things, don't waste time, and the energy you put into those videos is just so infectious. So thank you very much, and I'll continue to watch. Secondly, Spitfire Audio. I mean, what a company. The whole way that they present their products their videos and the actual quality of their products is just incredible. Their online tutorial videos um, that I've watched on YouTube um, with Homme presenting and um, Christian himself, fantastic. Really, really make it easy to understand and actually give you some really good ideas as well. Complete um, Control, the company where I got the keyboard from and the interface, their website has been superb. It's very clear, very easy to understand, and even for somebody, a novice like me, so it makes it really, really useful when you can go onto the website and find the information that you're looking for. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So for the keyboard, I decided on the Complete Control A49, basically because I couldn't fit any bigger keyboard into my office. And this was £119. It got very good write-ups on all the websites that I looked at, and it turns out it's an excellent instrument. For my audio interface, I went with the Complete Audio One at £70, bringing the total to £189 so far. You need an audio interface and this one was recommended along with the keyboard that I purchased. For my speakers I found these edifiers. They are reasonably priced at £80, give a great sound, they look fantastic and they also have controls on the side to adjust the volume with. So next up for my door, Digital Audio Workstation, the software where you create your music, I went for the PreSonos Studio One version 4.5. I started off with the free version, but then purchased the actual artist version so that I could use the VST plugins. 
I needed headphones because I have neighbours and if I want to work late at night or early in the morning then I obviously need to use headphones so I got the One Audio Studio Pro Series for a very reasonable £30. Now being such a fan of Spitfire Audio I decided to get the BBC Symphony Orchestra not the full one but the free one. I had to wait two weeks to get it and fill out a questionnaire but it is so worth getting it and anything from um, Spitfire Audio is simply astonishing. I should add at this point you don't need to buy any external libraries. Most digital audio workstations come with instruments within them for you to get started with. So there you have it. Here is my setup in place, all plugged in and working and I'm really enjoying beginning to learn about how to create some music using that kit and that software that I've showed you. There, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more of these videos. We'll see. I may actually go into actually showing you how I've managed to maybe produce my first piece of music um, properly, but I hope you found it useful. Any comments then pop them in the video comments below and enjoy your music. Thank you.